All right, guys, we got the new M2 right out here on the table. We've laid everything out. Now Carl's going to show us what each piece is and how to put it together. Yep. So uh, this is going to be your basic kit that comes in the uh, M2 box whenever you open it up. Uh, we have a few extra features that we'll get into later. But basically what we're going to have, you're going to have one of two size uh, waist belts. We have a small, medium, and a large, extra large. We're going to have our seat cushion here. We have our yoke slash harness. This is going to connect to the front and the back of your waist belt. And then we have our modular bird bag. It's collapsible. It's gonna mount on the back. And then we have what we just kind of call our horizontal pockets. And basically these are just gonna go up here on the sides and these are configured with uh, a Velcro system so you can attach and detach all of your accessories. Our accessory kit, we have a, uh, a box call holder. Uh, you can cinch down this little cord lock and bungee so it doesn't make any noise when you're walking and this will attach inside to any of the pockets. Uh, we have pot call uh, holders again same velcro these are going to hold a wide variety of sizes of pot calls and then there's also a slip pocket here in the back for your uh, your sandpaper or your uh, your scotch bright pad whatever you put in there to prep your calls. Uh, we're going to have two of these these are uh, shell slash striker holders. I actually run three shells on one side and then I run three different strikers, horizontal and the other side. And this is Warb's baby. This is a request from Warb here. Uh, this is a little magnetic pocket and it expands out to hold uh, two diaphragm call plastic boxes so you can run it right here on your yoke, so it, on your off gun arm. And uh, we've got these little, we call them dog bone attachments that actually slide up through here and hook onto the yoke. It also has the Velcro on it, so you can throw it into one of the pockets, attach it that way if you want as well. And then if you want to be really sleek on the front, you can run just your diaphragms. So this attaches just like the, the plastic uh, case holder there, wherever you want to put it, and you can just slip two diaphragms down in there. And then last, two very simple straps. If you are wanting to go extremely high speed low drag with a parcel system, Basically what this would do, this would attach the back of the yoke down to the back of the belt and then like you could just run your two pouches and take off if you didn't want to run a bird bag or a hydration pack on it. Now in a little bit we'll get into the different configurations and the added accessories you can get but this is the basic setup that all of you are going to start with and this is the one that I like to run because I'm a pretty minimalist type turkey hunter. Right. I just like to have those two main pockets and run really light and then store stuff in the bird bag as I go. So. We'll show you now how to kind of put everything together. It might look a little intimidating. Everything's sitting here on the, on the, the table in pieces, but you know, it's, it's all about modularity. You can custom tailor this thing to exactly how you want it to be. Uh, we didn't just want a one and done type situation. We wanted this thing to be, I called it earlier, the Swiss army knife of turkey vest. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get warbs put together here and you're gonna kind of see just exactly how modular this thing is. All right, first thing we're gonna do, is we're going to flip over the bird bag. So on the back of the bird bag, it's a, a two-stage Velcro system. So we're going to pull this up. So we have this Velcro that goes around the belt. Take the belt. So the, the Molly matrix right here, this is where we're going to be attaching our pockets. This is actually going to, this is going to face outboard, obviously. The uh, inside of each belt has uh, the Made in USA label, and you look over here and you got your size. That's going to be facing your back. So it's gonna lay here. We've got a, the hook side of our Velcro here. We've got the loop side of our Velcro here. We're just gonna lay it like that, get it squared up. And then we're gonna cover it with this. And then we're gonna pop open that bottom just a little bit, roll that under. So now this is going to stick right here. Just flatten that down. So now we've got our bird bag with a belt on it. All right. So now we're going to attach the yoke to it. And the easiest way to do this, again, lay the, I'm gonna do it this way so you guys can see it better. And lay it out again like that. So the yoke, pretty basic. Um, you know, you've probably seen bino harnesses and stuff with something similar. You know, this is, this is what we're looking for at the end of the day. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach it in front locations. Now. Your results may vary. Um, you can attach these things in any one of these molly slots that you want to. There's no wrong way to do this. 
If you've got a little bit more here in the midsection and you need to run those straps out a little bit farther, go for it. You know, if you want to roll them in closer to the front, no problem at all. Um, on mine, I actually have, uh, I use this kind of as a, as, a, as a set point. This is actually a cinch strap for the, uh, the, the waist belt that attaches to the bird bag. We'll put that on here in a minute. Um, but basically, the only, the only time you really need to cinch those up is once you get a load. If you've got a bird in there or if you've got a lot of decoys or a big thermos of coffee or something like that. So we're going to take the front of our yoke. We've got it configured just like this. And on the bottom of the, each yoke strap, these are just backpack straps. That's all these are, adjustable backpack straps. We've got a three bar slider sewn on here. And we're going to take it and we're just going to push it right down through one of these, these molly loops. You may have to twist it to the side a little bit there. The idea with any type of Molly uh, gear or equipment, you know, you want it in there and you don't want it to come out. So right there, we're locked in on that one. Now go over here to this one. Gotta make sure we're still in the same location. Four slots in from the front. Yeah, just, and again, yeah, this this is just a starting point for you guys. Um, you can move it out. You, you can, can go one slot in. Put it you where can you go want it, yeah. all the way to the end. Yeah. So there's the the front of the belt. Now we're gonna flip this thing over. So we've got our top straps here on the the back of the bird bag, and you can see that they kind of run through these common loops here. Now one of the reasons we did this is that. If you get like a real, if you got some of the old like solid decoys you like to run or something like that, I know a lot of guys are running collapsibles now, but if you run some of the bigger stuff, you can get really big expansion on this thing if you want to. But generally, they're just going to slide right in there, up tight. Now these can be a little bit tough to get through there because they are that webbing is folded over there, so it can't pull through. Lace this ladder lock buckle up again. Nothing new, it is simply a backpack strap. Same type of operation there. Do the other one here. So after I get this one laced up, we're gonna throw this on you and kind of get Check you. Size a little yep, bit. We'll get your torso uh, kind of lined up. We'll see where you personally want to wear it, and then we can um, go from there. So now we've got our three pieces put together. All these straps and everything, this is all gonna dress up really, really clean whenever you're done. Pretty much all you have to do is, is, you know, once you get everything adjusted for you, um, you're not going to have to move this stuff much anymore. You might be having, you might have to make some minor adjustments up here and on the waist belt just to account for layers. If you go out on a real cold morning or something like that, and you got some extra layers on. This right. thing's designed. We've spent two years trying to figure <laughs> out how to design it so that it, you literally forget that you're wearing it. Yeah. I mean, and that with the fit and comfort in high priority. Yes. Yes, this thing, it, that's why there's so much adjustability in it. It carries extremely well. Go ahead and buckle your waist belt first. Okay. So everybody's different. So I, I kind of built this system to almost ride like a, um, a frame pack would, you know, a load bearing pack, something that you can really put a lot of weight in and move around very efficiently in. So, you know, it, obviously it's not a very thick belt. There's some padding. So right there we have uh, Aaron's hip bones right there and that's pretty much what, we, what I like to do is cover those hip bones and then he can cinch this thing down and you know you can basically sprint in this thing if you want to so yeah he's he's pretty good here so we've got you turn need, around here real need quick to see that yeah so right here's the back of our, our yoke now inside this yoke there's a um, eighth inch thick piece of uh, an HDPE plastic and it provides structure for the, the back of the yoke so that whenever we do weight this thing down with a bird or whatever, you can see this thing does not collapse. It, everything stays together so it doesn't all bunch up and collapse. And this is one of the key features that make this thing carry so well for miles if needed. We're gonna lower this yoke down just a touch back here on you. So go ahead and loosen, okay. loosen your front straps just a couple inches there. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit, pull a little bit of tension in there, kind of match those up. You got a lopsided shoulder or what? 
Yeah, I was built funky from the get-go, so. <laughs> you work out one trap and not the other. <laughs> All right, so we're adjusted back here. So you got two options. You can roll up this extra webbing and put it here underneath the elastic, or you can just simply drop it here in behind the three-bar slider and let it live right down here inside the, the vest, which is kind of what I do. All right, so we're done there. All right, you liking this? Yeah. Okay. Feels good. All right. Um, so if, you, if you're good with the shoulder straps, then at that point we can go ahead, we don't have to do it now, but at that point you can go ahead and roll up and manage your, your extra stuff here. Sternum strap as well. Yep, you roll that up and then just tuck it in these right. little elastic, these green elastic bands. Yes. Okay. Now give it four and a half inches of sternum strap adjustment here. So if that's a little high on you, we can go ahead and shoot her down toward the bottom. Wherever you want to put it, again, there's no wrong way. The, uh, the waist belt, so let's just say that this is Aaron's one and only turkey hunting hoodie. So he's gonna wear a t-shirt and a hoodie and he does not have to make any adjustments down here. Uh, got a real cool trick to show you with these straps once we get some pockets on. Okay. All right, pop her off. All right, so now we're gonna lay this down flat and we're going to put our side pockets, our primary pockets on. Now you can put them on to where they don't extend past the uh, the belt um, but the modular nature of this molly allows you to actually come forward of the belt and get a lot more accessibility again if you're a little bit bigger guy and you, or you have some issues where you can't rotate your torso very well having it closer right here on the front of your hips will be beneficial so when you open the horizontal pocket you're going to find two what we call malice clips in each one uh, these are really cool um, they're just quick snap clips and basically these little jewels allow us to attach these pockets in a variety of configurations and different locations on the pack. So we're going to fold that in half. Um, if, you, if you want to detach these at any point and move, move them around, uh, all you're going to need is a butter knife or a flat tip screwdriver and you're just going to pop it in the end right here and just give that a little pry and then you can release this because whenever we slide this in it's going to click and lock in place. So I'm going to go ahead and roll yours just a little, a little around a little bit forward. Yep. Um, you won't need much. You're pretty, you're pretty narrow there. So we're going to start from the bottom. Here's our pocket right here. We're going to start from the bottom. So the fat end of the malice clip is going to be here on the bottom. And we're going to just go straight up through here. So this material I'm lacing this through right now, uh, this is uh, the same material. Uh, those of you who have seen our fast pack, uh, this is called a Squadron B-52. It's an extremely durable material. It takes a laser cut very well, and it adds a lot of stiffness and structure to uh, whatever you're putting it on. So from military, uh, the military standard of putting malice clips on is you lace these things like a shoe. It can be very um, time consuming and a little bit hard to do if you're not used to it. But because of this squadron being that stiff, you just simply have to run through the row and then straight back down through whatever we're gonna attach it to. So we're going to be right there, and so I'm going to move you. I'm going to move you one more back. We'll get the pockets a little bit farther forward on you. Now, if you're a bigger guy and you're running our bigger belt, uh, you might be able to just square up right here on the front of the belt without having to run um, run any extra. Uh, we'll get into the exact sizing of the the large extra large belt later on, but it has quite a bit more real estate. So here I went one, two, three over, and I'm going to dump right here into the front of the belt. Just going to go right in behind that molly and that one right there. And what I like to do is just kind of stage it. So I'll just stage that right there and I'll grab the other one and I'm going to go right here next to that. And pop it through like so. All right, so now we have that on there, and we're going to take the, the male end here and put it in here. You're going to hear a click. And I can't hardly hear that click, but it's there. You'll feel I heard it. it. There's our other one. All right, there's that pocket on right there. While I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and attach our horizontal uh, waist belt cinch strap. Again, this is for if we decide to expand this bird bag and throw a big load into it. But generally, they don't need to be tight. 
The ladder locks, adjustable ladder locks for that are built right here onto the bird bag. So we're just gonna go up through there. Pull that through. Drop that through. And then you can just kind of let that just do whatever there. All right, we're gonna do the exact same thing over here. So those are on there, they're very stable, uh, they're locked in, they're not going anywhere. You don't have to worry about these things coming off. And if you're a gear guy or gal, this could be right up your alley. Because, uh, I mean, it's fun. Whenever, whenever you have this type of modularity and you can play around with this stuff, I put that in backwards. I, had a, I actually did it identical to that one. Keep oh. in mind, you have a left and a right side on your body. <laughs> yeah, so this, this one would have been uh, sitting a little far back there. I'm just gonna come back in, same locations. One and three. One and three. A little snap action going on here again. There's that one. There's that one. Put our cinch strap back in here. Okay. All right, so there is the horizontal pockets attached to it. And pretty much the last thing we have to do is put your seat on. And then we can show you how to configure these pockets. Yes, then we will we'll, we'll do a loadout for you. <clears throat> All right, so the cool thing about this, uh, this seat cushion, I hadn't touched on yet. So this is a 100% serviceable seat cushion. You can see this big zipper it has on the back side of it here. So at any time, you can unzip this and we did a hard, soft, hard, soft, hard layer configuration. This is a closed cell dense foam. This is more of an open cell soft foam. So you can configure these however you want them to be. Uh, if you want both the softs on the top, the hards, whatever, it doesn't matter. There's no wrong way to do it. Uh, you may even have uh, a favorite old you know, piece of uh, uh, Thermarest foam or something laying around, like from an old stadium seat or something like that, that you really like. Pull one of these dense cell pieces of foam out lay it on it, trace it, cut it, slap it in there. Just add or take out whatever you need to get the right firmness that you like and the right thickness. So we have a, uh, a vinyl coated uh, PVC. This has got texture on it. So this is very durable. This is gonna go up against the ground, keep you dry on those, uh, those wet mornings. And we're gonna go ahead and just plug this thing in. So whenever you, it's got three attachment points. So we got three male buckles and we're going to marry them up to the three female buckles all right so we're going to lay this just like this to start so we've got you know the, the bottom will be facing up we've got our bottom one here we're going to plug that in to the bottom of the bird bag we're going to rotate this up and we're going to plug in right here at that female and then we're going to do the same thing over here on this side And before we make our final adjustments here, we're gonna have you put this back on. So here we can see our cinch straps. So you can kind of see the purpose of these. We'll move that on just a little bit. So they're, they're pretty much expanded and you, you would really expand them if you had that big load in there. But since we don't have a load in there, we're gonna go ahead and take those all the way down and you can see how it pulls this in around. So it's gonna ride really tight to his body and not be flopping around. We did that because so many of our old vests that we've been using for years just yep flop around the whole time well, when you're walking around through the woods and now we can pack it up tight right. and move quickly and quietly. Right. And, and so many of the older traditional vests, they kind of have that almost that bell shape. You know, they're, they fit pretty good up here, but then they get loaded up and you in the, you put more weight in them and they're, they're just really slopping around. Yeah, Greg's got that picture of me. That, that thing just makes <laughs> me look like I'm 80 pounds heavier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got his cushion sitting here. So what Aaron's going to do is he's going to kind of see what kind of a, um, I call it a pop. He's going to, cause he's going to, he's going to, this thing is made to rotate 270 degrees. So basically going to pull this up and you can see this is going to stretch and then he's going to pop it down. And so what you might want to do is whenever you do this, just drop down onto it really fast and see if it, it's where you want it to be. How's that feel? Pretty good. It's good. Okay. And then when you <laughs> put my hand down, kickstand, right? So then at that point, just kind of center it up. And then we can take and unsnap this thing real quick because we're, we're dressing up all this webbing as we go. So that's adjusted. 
another benefit of having this zipper here we're going to take the tails of this elastic and we're going to go right here through these little slots I'm going to grab it lay it in there nice and flat so it's just it's in between two pieces of foam here and grab that one make sure yep same foam pull that through so that's nice and dressed you can see it's sitting in there out of the way all right so that's the basic configuration of of warb's kit here he is we're adjusting on his torso it's got it sitting where he wants it on his waist um, you know all the straps were managed this little back one here this is for the expanding uh, bird bag. So when it's time to throw in the load, you can see the volume this thing has. We have uh, some structural, again, this HDP plastic in here, gives us a nice, good structure and what enables it to have that really clean inward fold. So there's a sleeve, a separate sleeve in here. You can take a, I've actually taken a, a three liter uh, source uh, water bladder and laid in there horizontally and then ran my, uh, my hose up top. But then there's also a hook in here if you want to hang your pack, your, uh, your hydration bladder vertically and drop it in that pocket as well. Tons of options, uh, you know, as far as the, uh, again, it's a very modular system. Also back here we have uh, these five tab loops here with a little bit of uh, eighth inch bungee and a cord lock. So if you wanted to, it got hot or whatever and you need to pull that outer layer off, if you want to slam it in there, whatever. You know, it's just a little extra, one more little extra thing. So we're going to fold this back in. So this buckle here, uh, this thing is uh, completely adjustable. You can actually, this is a split uh, common loop. We can, you can just pinch this together and move it back here if you want. You can move this one over here. All, all of these, these buckles here have uh, their split, lat, their splits. So all, all these females. So you can move these around wherever you want. Um, and the primary three for the cushion they're actually designed to come off of this and go onto the water bladder later if we want to but if if you do get a bird or you have big decoys or a big load in here now you can expand this out plug it back in over here and then cinch down on your load and get it all locked in so you'd cinch down the load and then that's where these side waist belt cinches would come into play as well so you're even though you're expanding this to a large volume, you're still going to make it ride nice. You're going to be able to draw that in and keep all that volume and all that weight up against your back. So the stuff isn't shifting yeah. around and whatnot. It's not, yeah. And you're not yard sailing whenever you're running through the woods to get relocated. Oh, we've yard sailed a few times, Carl. <laughs> all right, now we got all the gear that I like to pack with me. We need to configure these pockets. Yeah. How are we going to do that? I'm a pretty, I'm a minimalist, as you can tell. I don't pack very much right. stuff with me to the field, but okay we'll yep. show you how we do it here yep so uh we're going to take uh, what we don't need out of the accessory kit because uh, you can see aaron's only running one pot call here um and we're gonna I don't take a box call usually so right. we, won't, we don't need that yeah we don't need the box call holder we don't need these extra straps for the back we're only going to need one of our pot call holders uh, we are going to utilize both of our uh, shell slash striker holders and then we're going to use one of our dog bones to attach the uh, diaphragm case holder to the uh, your right-handed shooter, right? So we're gonna put yep. it over there. Okay, yeah, we're gonna put it over on his left side. <clears throat> and then we're gonna use the uh, just the, the the minimalist diaphragm holder for this conditioning stick right here for your call. All right. So uh, where do you run your shells, Aaron? Uh, shells will go on the right side because okay. uh, since I'm right-handed, I reach in here all the time to get my friction call out. So okay. that's got to be here. All right. So we're gonna unzip this. So <clears throat> when we unzip these horizontal pockets you can see these zippers come way down along the sides this allows you a complete fold out access of this thing so we've got female or female this would be loop side velcro on both sides to marry up our um, hook side velcro there's also a flat zipper pocket in here if you need to keep tags for this pocket here um, you want to throw the long, long bird yep. in there? Throw that in there. And if I had my tags out there, that's where they'd be going, ink pen tags right. and whatever else. A lot of states, you have to fasten the tag to the bird somehow. Yep. So we will actually take hair ties, even for those of us that don't have much, and we'll put those in there. We'll put, you know, a zip tie in there or something like that. You could that. throw a little Havilon yep. in there, stuff knife. like that. Yep. 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 All right, zip that one up. I think we're done there. All right, so we're going to put the shells over there. About where do you want them? Oh, it doesn't matter. Anywhere along that side. Okay. 
Put that right there. Load that up. Now these are 12 gauge shells. Yep. Um, this will hold all the way down to 410. All right, there's those. What else you want over there? I'll probably put some loose stuff in here. Like I might have my beanie in there. If that's something I'm gonna be taking on and off, or okay. I might just wear that up top. I'm definitely gonna put this in there, okay. in the bottom. And I might even put the headlamp on that side. And then I'll leave the other side completely for my friction calls. He wants to run it there, absolutely fine. Uh, one of the awesome yeah. things about the horizontal pockets, so this is a stretch pocket on here, and usually when you see a stretch pocket built on something like this, you'll see a full stitch, vertical stitch, going from top to bottom to make it into two small pockets. Uh, went away from that on this one. I put a single bar tack right here in the center so it can't flop open, but what that allows you to do, go stuff that light in there. This you're probably gonna be needing a lot more than this. Sure, so you take that so, off. So throw that, throw that in there. Smart. Okay, and now we can just that stuff that right in there. And that bar tack, again, it keeps everything in there. You can jump around, you can move, do whatever you want to do. All right, we're done there? Yep. All right, roll over here. This is the pouch I'm in all the time when I'm like running and gunning for so turkeys. Your cross draw, basically. Always. I'm okay. always reaching in my right hand and I'm grabbing it. All right. And where, then shoving it back where in. Where do you want your pot call? Right there in the front. Right there in the front. Put the pot call holder right here. And I as I showed you earlier, we've got this little envelope style pocket here on the back. We're gonna go ahead and throw his uh, little scotch bright. So those will th be right there. And then we've got the pot call. And you can see, so this is, a, this is a, well, this is a carbon crystal one here, but it's got the, it's got the cover on it as well. And it's still gonna fit in there just nice. Um, so this is gonna fit very large calls down to very small pot calls. Then I can put the strikers on the front. Yep. That way I can pull those straight out this side. Makes it more accessible. Okay, straight out that way. So here we're going to take our other shotgun slash striker call holder. And I like to run them out at just a slight angle. Instead of putting it vertical like that, we're going to put it just to kick it at just a little bit of an angle. Just like that. You can move it if you hate it. And we got just the two here. There's one. There's two. All right. And then we're also going to put the uh, little diaphragm holder. Uh, we'll throw it right there. Conditioning stone in that. Yep. Right in like so. We done? Yep, pretty much with that one. Okay. So now, whenever I'm going to strike a bird midday or whatever, I can yep. pop this out, boom, so call. Let's, let's stop right there. Go ahead and go keep those out. Okay. So uh, let's say that Let's say you're walking and you're trying to strike one up. So you're on a ridge top and you're just you're just trying to strike one up or wherever. So let's say that he gets a sound off, he lights one up, and he needs to run 80 yards that way, um, you know, to cover that ground. Here, this look at this pocket again. So again, this bar tack, this is very intentional. So what he can do, since this is a full pocket down here, he can take that striker and just drop it right there. That pot call, just slam it right in there and run and it's there. So there's no unzipping or anything like that. Off to the races you go. Nice. Cool. So we're about done down here on the bottom. Uh, go ahead and zip that up. And we're gonna go ahead and a little trick on, turn toward me a little bit. So now all we have is this. We've, we've got uh, our extra leftover, uh, you know, two inch webbing for the waist belt. And again, if this is kind of what you're doing, it's just gonna be a snap. On, snap, off all the time, no adjustments. You can actually take this webbing right here, fold it in half, and you see that malice clip right there, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna shove that right back in there. I'm gonna grab the other one, and do the same thing. Shove it in as far as you can, fold it over again. Stuff it back in there. So look how clean the front of this thing is. There is nothing dangling, nothing flopping around. It is very, very streamlined. Uh, so like I pointed out before, the backs of these, uh, these diaphragm holders, they have a slot right here, and they also have the Velcro. So we could have Velcroed that into the inside of the pocket if we wanted to, but we're gonna put it right up here. Aaron likes those up there. So we're gonna take this little dog bone here. We're gonna slide it right through. So now we're looking like that. And I'm gonna put this it- This is something that's very particular to me too. Right, <laughs> right. Like some of you guys may want to run it there. Some of you guys may just want to put it in the pocket. This was a direct request here. 
I don't have very many. I'm like, you know, minimalist all the way, but this is something that I really wanted. And you can see, snap that right on. All right, so you're good. Magnet. Well, little magnet, there you go. And those calls go right in there. Yep, it fits two of your standard. Um, that's a, like a standardized size uh, case, I think, for diaphragm calls. Yep. Yep. And so the uh, one thing we did here is just a little detail. So this magnet made it free floating inside of this rectangle. So if it needs to max out, so we're maxed out, you know, here, it'll reach just fine. But if you were just running one call in there, it would float around to wherever it needed to be so it wouldn't, you know, be a mess. And you don't hear those things in there plastic rubbing on each other. Right. It's like they're good and tight. All right. Do a show and tell. Let's see you. That's it. Look at that. Ready to sprint through the woods. That's it. Red race. <laughs> <laughs> Do a quick 40. <laughs> All right. So that pretty much wraps up the basic M2 kit. Uh, for Aaron and he's ready to go. Uh, make sure you check out uh, our other videos because we're going to go into some more detail on some of the extra add-ons and different configurations that you can do with this thing. Uh, we're just talking turkey space right now. We haven't even got into the whitetail woods yet, so keep an eye out for those.